And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Tian Yulong, which was a request from Velociraptor256 via our Patreon and Discord, so thank you. It was a heterodontosaurid ornithischian that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now western Liaoning province, China. It looked somewhat similar to Heterodontosaurus, with the long legs and a long tail, and it had a short skull, but it had shorter arms and a shorter neck. It probably walked on two legs, and like other Heterodontosaurids, it had a pair of large canine-like tusks. And Heterodontosaurids, they get their name because they have different t- teeth. Mm-hmm. That's literally what it means. Hetero yep. is different, and daunt is teeth. Different teeth lizards. Yep. <laughs> then swords, because everything ends in sword. <laughs> so Tian Yulong had unusual proportions compared to its heterodontosaurid relatives, with a large head, long legs and tail, but the short arms and the short neck. The holotype that was found was mature. It was a mature specimen, and it's estimated to be about 27 and a half inches or 70 centimeters long, and that's based on comparisons to its relative heterodontosaurus tuckeye. The skull was similar in shape to Heterodontosaurus, and the skull is about 2.3 inches or 6 centimeters long. Oh, that's tiny. Yes, but its tail is about 17 inches or 44 centimeters long. Sounds big by comparison, but that's still pretty small. It's still small, small, but it's got a long tail. (laughs) You're measuring dinosaurs in inches. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Centimeters rather than feet and meters. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, a little different from what we normally talk about. Now, the arms of Tian Yulong are less than 30% the length of the legs. Its tail is similar, interestingly, to dromaeosaur theropods, with a more mobile base and the middle and end being more rigid, and that may have helped it with balance. It also had a long second finger, and it may have been good at grasping. The heterodontosaurids were herbivores and maybe omnivores. They have bills for cropping and well-developed cheeks, which is good for eating plants. Yeah, of all the dinosaurs, they have the most going on in their mouth, I think. Yeah. Because they got like the big canine teeth. They got the other like grindy type teeth. Then they have a beak (laughs) on top of it. Yeah. It's like that is a lot going on in that (laughs) mouth. (laughs) The type and only species for Tianyulong is Tianyulong Confucius-I. These fossils were found in Jiancheng County, and they're now at the Shandong Tianyu Museum of Nature. The skeleton was one of those where it was like flat on a slab of rock. The genus name means Tianyu dragon, and it refers to the Tianyu Museum of Nature, and the species name is in honor of Confucius. It was named in 2009 by Zheng Xiaoting and others, and it's the first heterodontosaurid found in what is now Asia. Originally, they thought it was from the early Cretaceous, but then later they found it to be from the Tiaojishan formation about 158 and a half million years ago. The holotype's an incomplete skeleton, including part of the skull and jaw, vertebrae, part of the arm, part of the pelvis, part of the legs and feet, and long filamentous integumentary structures, basically possible proto-feathers or something like feathers. Cool. Yeah. In 2012, Paul Serino did a study of heterodontosaurids and also described a second specimen of Tian Yulong. And this second specimen includes a nearly complete skull, vertebrae, part of the tail, shoulders, most of the arms, and parts of the legs and feet. And the holotype and second specimen are about the same size. There's also at least four other undescribed specimens. Serino said that all the specimens need to be studied to have a reliable skull reconstruction. Hmm. But the most interesting part of these finds are the feather-like structures. So they found three patches of long filamentous structures on the back, neck, and tail. And these structures look similar to proto feathers. Uh, they're not quite a feather, though the feathers are flexible and they have veins. And the structures on Tianyulong are stiff and they don't have veins, like which are the flat part on the side of a shaft of a feather. These are instead are single structures with no branches. But it's really unusual to find an ornithischian with feathers or feather-like structures. Usually, you find feathers on sauroskins, mainly theropods. They're the ones with the evidence of the feathers. Ornithischians, though, they include ankylosaurs, stegosaurs, ceratopsians, hadrosaurs, and heterodontosaurs. So, we, yeah, we don't generally think of these dinosaurs as having feathers. Mm-hmm. But we do have Cetacosaurus, another ornithischian. It's a ceratopsian with bristles on its tail. Yeah, it's very similar to the way you were describing it, where it's sort of a down the middle of its back kind of thing. And mm-hmm. Big, kind of like huge bristly hairs almost. They look more like a hair than they do like a, a feather. 
Yeah. Well, so the patches on Tianyulong are similar to the bristles on Cetacosaurus. They are also similar to structures found on some theropods like Cynoceropteryx and Bapialsaurus. They are more similar to the bristles on the tail of Cetacosaurus, though, than to the protofettlers and theropods, though the structures on the tail of Cetacosaurus are more rigid and more widely separated from each other. So there's some differences. The structures on the tail of Tanulong are the longest. They're about 60 millimeters long, which is seven times the height of the tail vertebra. These structures were definitely not for flight, but they were possibly for display. <laughs> Highly probably for display. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it was like a walking boot scraper or something. <laughs> <Why else? laughs> Which you have these big showy things sticking up. But finding these structures opens up new questions like, whether Ornithischians independently evolved these structures or were these structures part of the common ancestor of Ornithischians and Sauriskins? Like, did all dinosaurs evolve from an animal that had something like this? Probably. And just adding to the debate, heterodontosaurids are basal Ornithischians. So things for future research to figure out or tackle. Yep. I mean, I think the most widely accepted view now is that the common ancestors of not only all dinosaurs, but also pterosaurs probably had feathers because we see proto feathers or mm. pycno fibers, depending on your preference on pterosaurs. Yeah. Well, now, but this was back in 2012. Mm -hmm. This opened up like a whole new possibility. For sure. Especially when you combine it with Cetacosaurus. Mm -hmm. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 